for example, we take our air comes with SIBO, we go and factor it, factor it without recourse and all the stuff. And even your normal business, you know, just you just want to drive the ROIC up, and so you do a lot of sort of things. So I'm just saying that as long as you uh, have uh, a good mindset around how we want to improve creatively rather than, um, um, you know, passionately driving it down even at the expense of the company, then you're all right. So, uh, <coughs> integrated into financial reporting, we strengthen your incentive. And again, the some companies will drive this. In our case, we have got a KPI. 20% of our compensation is based on the, the ROIC that we drive. And it drives very good behavior. Uh, when a capital expenditure comes in, they'll definitely ask for business case. If business case is not there, they'll say. And in some cases, what we do also is, when a new technology comes in, there's a leap of faith. Oh, it's worked in AT&T and in the US has to work in Malaysia. And so there's a leap of faith. In, the, in those cases, instead of going and investing 10, 20 million dollars, we'll come back and say, look, okay, let's do a remission. The more and more companies that are coming back and saying, I'm okay for remission. If you know the technology better, like there's a company called Modern City in the US, and they came to us and said, look, you got in this about 30 million. We said, no. And they said, okay, we'll do all the investment. You share your revenue. And we said, yeah, that's okay. <coughs> Uh, and that drives very good behavior, uh, good conversation, and the vendors also put their skin in the game. But change is not easy, so <laughs> we've got to make sure that, that, that we drive this across the top management. Uh, but most of them uh, will agree to it sooner or later. So the initially, there will be a bit of a resistance like any baby, but fundamentally, um, uh, once, once they understand that this is the concept. But what I'm also pleased to see is the analysts, especially the Tesla analysts, were only focusing on every day, every day, and these guys are now coming back and saying that secondary is going to be about it. The world is saying definitely changing, and we want to get uh, smarter and stay ahead of the curve. And, and we've signed up one with Digi, and I, I, I'm, I can foresee clearly that in the next two years, we'll also bring the other players onto the and reduce the cost even more, reduce the capex even more to drive our CR. That's about it. Thank you. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to come here and talk to you all about it.